This is a uh, digital asset built for Houdini, which allows you to create a uh, school of fish. It models it based on an image that you feed it. So uh, here we see the uh, asset open in Houdini, and as you can see, the uh, fish is moving along. By default, it wants to swim in a, uh, a circle. Most of the characteristics about its swimming stroke are adjustable. And if you don't want it to swim in a circle, of course, you can just you know manually override it. It'll swim in a straight line. Or you could set it to swim in no direction and then just manually keyframe. Also, you can create, by default, uh, 1 to 20 fish. And here you can also see that um, the movement of the fish can be changed to be faster or slower, or um, in really wide curves and deformation. And we can add a random scale so that the fish are not all the same size. And if we wanted, perhaps the image I've been used to model this fish was, was facing left or not right, so we can just flip its direction pretty easily. And there are some uh, other details. So when you know, if I have 20 fish in there, I might want to lower down the resolution. Um, so this is where I can do that. This will give you faster performance. So if you have 20 fish and they're in the in the background, you might want to go with a flat fish that's quite low uh, resolution, and they'll still look quite convincing from distance. So here you see the fish all swimming around in a circle, but if I wanted I could increase that to a much wider radius, so they're just constantly going by my screen. Here we see how the fish is built. Uh, I've got a couple default images in here that you can use. There's a tarpon, there's a blue striped fish, or kissing fish. It's ideal to have three images, one for color, one for uh, transparency, and also for the auto trace, and also a third one for bump. Although you can just do this all from one image if you like. Now here I've opened the help file for flock, and um, basically this is just uh, this is part of every Houdini installation, and it's an example file which shows a bunch of particles floating towards a, uh, a sphere. And so I'm going to use this help file, and I'm going to. Um, basically make all those uh, particles into fish. So this is an example of how you can uh, use this asset. I basically brought the asset into the um, flock on path and here where it says custom movement I can just take the particles from that flock on path help file and I'm just going to drag and drop them onto the custom movement. So that's just any points or particles that I drag onto there. An object with points, like even a sphere, it would copy that fish asset onto that sphere. Um, or, uh, in this case, the particles. And uh, all the um, animation has been randomized so that um, they're not all swimming the same stroke at once. Right? They're all a little bit offset from each other. There are some presets for different kind of fish. Uh, there's three built in there. The angelfish, uh, tarpon, and the kissing fish. They're all built in there. They have different sizes, different swimming uh, characteristics. Uh, but you're free to bring in your own image and customize this uh, as you like. Thanks and have fun.